Okay guys, today I want to introduce you to my very stock, very unsporty, daily driven Suzuki SX4. You are probably wondering why I decided to waste your time today by showing you my my very very stock daily driven you know Suzuki car uh, it's got nothing special there's no mods the engine is stock you know it's not even a sports car it actually it has roof rails now what I wanted to do today is something that I, I uh, when I first first heard about it I didn't think it is actually possible and you know I don't think it couldn't be done I still haven't tried it so in today's video we're going to see if it's possible and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to measure my car's you know performance actually to dyno my car by using just a phone app now the name of the phone app is called uh, the, the app is called perf expert now I couldn't use my MR2 for this because I have you know modified the engine I have tuned it a bit you know even removed some parts so the car is no longer stock and I do not know the actual you know output of the car until I measure it on a real dyno now Compared to my MR2, my, my Suzuki is 100% stock. I know the power output, I know the torque. It's 107 uh, brake horsepower and it's 149. Let me double check that. Nope, it's 107 horsepower at 5006 RPM and it's 145 Newton meter at 4000 RPM. Now we are going to use this app to see if it, if it can actually measure you know, the horsepower uh, and the, the performance of a car and I'm going to compare it with these factory specification so what we're going to do now is we are going to set up the app it needs a lot of parameters and I'm going to show you how to do that so once you actually pay for the app and download it the first thing you're going to need to do is you know log into the app that's very easy and simple you can even use your Facebook so I'm gonna skip that the first thing you're going to need to do uh, is actually create your car profile and I'm going to show you this step by step because this is the most important thing for this app it needs accurate you know accurate measurements accurate parameters for this whole thing to work otherwise it's completely useless so card nickname that is not important uh, the year the year of my Suzuki SX4 is 2007 the make we already know that's Suzuki 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 come on come on come on come on come on come on where is it Suzuki and the model is a SX4 there we have it okay and the version uh, my particular car is a two-wheel drive 1.6 liter and there we have that thing okay we are done with this step okay and here is where it gets a little bit tricky now I'm gonna click OK here you don't have to read this now the car automatically, you know, the app actually has a sort of its uh, database and it automatically picks up certain parameters. As you can see it already knows the car weight, it knows the engine displacement, it knows the fuel type and the fuel tank capacity. But it doesn't know a lot of other things. For example, it doesn't know gear ratios, that is important. It doesn't know the pitch, that's actually just your suspension. It doesn't know the final drive ratio and it doesn't know this thing. Uh, this actually has to do a lot of with the drag coefficient and I'm going to explain that in just a few minutes. So, okay, the data on your car when it comes to gear ratios and stuff like that, you can find online, as you can see I have here a little paper where I wrote down all the gear ratios and now I'm going to enter the gear ratios. As we can see, you can select speed and speed speed at 100 at 1000 rpm or ratio we're going to choose ratio final drive is 4.41 second gear ratio is 1.90 third gear ratio is 1 sorry 1.31 and fourth gear ratio is 0 0.97 so we have that we are going to click OK OK we can go now back and the ratios are in there the pitch that's next so what it is actually 
it just has to do with the suspension of your car as you can see a car with smooth suspension is you know approximately four degrees the standard sports car then there's a car with a harder suspension I right, sorry I'm gonna get this to focus come on camera okay so this is a standard car zero mods as I already told you so we are just going to put 4G here and see what happens and we have this now this is by far the most complicated thing as you can see this is the the uh, actually it's not your just your drag coefficient this parameter it's your frontal area of your car multiplied by your drag coefficient now uh, to figure out the frontal area of your car you need your car exact height and you need your car width you then multiply this by 0 0.82 and then multiply it by 0. Point, by your drag coefficient in the case of my car the drag coefficient is 0. 35. I actually couldn't find the exact one, so I figured it out comparing it to some other cars, and I think this is pretty close. Now here's my measurement. This is the height times the width times 0 0.82 times, come on, 0 0.35. It's 0 0.77. And if you try to input something stupid, you see the app already knows that's wrong, and it says it needs to be from 0.40. So 0 0.77 is spot on, the app likes it, and we can click OK. So, here we have all the parameters, and the car profile is, the profile is complete. So, we are now going to, we do not need this, we are going to go back. Okay, the next thing the app is going to ask you to do, before measuring your car performances, is going to be to calibrate your sensors. So we are now going to click on calibration. I don't know if you can see this, the camera is really mean today. So we are now going to the good stuff. And the good stuff is now it's asking us to select a test mode. We are now going to select dyno. We want to dyno our engine. Now select tuning setup, it's stock, the car is stock. So now select gear and minimum rev. Now this is important uh, because the app needs you to be in this gear. It's going to start logging da data once you are in this gear. Okay? And once you reach 2000 RPM. And you need to floor it to wide open the throttle before you reach this RPM and this speed. And you have to be in this gear. So this is how it works. Now another thing that's really important for this app is that your phone is... 100% fixed in your car, okay? So it cannot use one of those uh, flimsy, you know, mounts that wiggle and, you know, do do nasty stuff. I have one of those mounts. I thought I was going to use this. You know, this is a mount, but as you can see, this thing wiggles like crazy. So that is 100% useless. What I'm going to actually do is I have bought extra strong double-sided tape, and I'm going to tape my phone on my dash to make sure it doesn't move and the data is actually correct. So let's say, let's start continue. So current car weight, that's the next thing. In order to provide you the most accurate data result, blah, 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 you're about an inch Okay. So passenger, okay, that is me. You never ask a lady about much how, how much she weighs, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. This is 85 kilos. Cargo, what do we have? Uh, I don't think I have a bag with my camera. I'll put five kilos. You know, fuel level that is not 100%. It's 50%. Continue. Okay, now it's doing more things. Any self-respecting dyno, perfect expert uses current weather conditions. Bring back your engine power to power. Without it. Okay, now it wants to know about weather. Temperature is, okay, pressure, I think it knows all of this, because all of this looks very correct. I think, yep, it picked it up from the server, so we can enjoy that, we, we can refresh it. Okay, 4 out of 4, done. Okay, and next it's start the session. I'm not going to start the session, I'm going to actually tape the phone to my dash now.
so here are my test results and I have to say that I am actually very 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 impressed now as we can see this is the test result it's 107.9 horsepower at 5586 rpm compared to the factory figure this is almost spot on and we have 15.7 meter kilograms at 4226 rpm and here it is the newton meters compared to 4000 you can make the newton meter to meter kilograms conversion you will see this is also very very close it also thinks it just thinks that it's you know the the maximum torque is being made at a bit higher rpm which is of course not impossible this is a slightly used car you know it has about 70000 miles on the clock so this could be you know maybe the throttle body needs a bit of cleaning or something but regardless of this this is very 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 accurate and far more accurate than I expected from an app on a phone to be honest and when you think about it this is actually good uh, you know a great way of getting you know your horsepower ballpark figures before you actually fork out the cash you know and 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 go to a real dyno this can help you know pinpoint your tuning you know and get it to close as possible you know to the to the best setting for your car now and when you think about it you pay nine nine dollars and, and, and you know and a couple of cents for this app and it uh, enables you to do you know an unlimited number of dyno runs while you know a dyno run on a real dyno costs like i don't know anywhere from 30 40 50 dollars for just one run you know depending depending on where you do it and who does it so this is definitely definitely a great thing and i definitely recommend it another thing i forgot to mention is that the app doesn't just measure horsepower it actually measures horsepower both at the crank and at the wheels the same thing for torque it does it measures acceleration the speed at which you are traveling when you made the most power it also gives you these very nice graphs as you can see and you can even open the graphs check it out and you can see exactly how much power and torque at which rpm you're making that's pretty cool and I just wanted to add that before I finish off the video so that's pretty much it for today guys thanks a lot for watching definitely a fun thing to do I definitely recommend it if you do download the app and you know give it a try yourself definitely share in the comment section let me know how it went you know if you like it if you think it's it's useful I would appreciate your you know your feedback so thanks for watching um, don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to you know don't forget to have fun with your car and see ya